want to bring in my panel now, senior advisor to the 45th president, Donald Trump, and the 2024 campaign, Lynn Patton, with us today. Alongside Lynn, we welcome in host of America Right Now, Tom Basile. Welcome into you both. Clearly, we are at a very dangerous point here with Iran saying we will retaliate for the attack in Damascus and Israel saying, well, we'll attack back. You know, it, it's unbelievable that Biden yesterday, Tom, was talking about a ceasefire. And it seems like so out of touch here when we're talking about not only as we just heard from Logan's report that the uh, commander of CENTCOM's on the way, but there's also sitting ducks as we have troops in Syria and Jordan and Russia may be on the border there. Yeah, well, one of the other things that we're going to hear today, probably from Christopher Ray Bianca, is about the domestic implications of an escalation in the Middle East. Certainly a good thing that the CENTCOM commander is going over to meet with our Israeli allies. That sends a very strong message to Iran about our support for, for Israel. Um, but when we listen to Christopher Ray in a little while, he's going to talk about the potential for uh, for lone wolf attacks. We also have this open southern border, and the FBI director and other officials and other sources have also discussed openly now uh, how how concerned they are about uh, Islamist terrorist sleeper cells that could be activated here in the United States yes. should Iran uh, escalate in the Middle East. And again, that's coming up in less than two hours, and it's incredible because this is. The disaster at the border is one of their own making, Lynn, and everybody knows it. Trump, no wars under his presidency. If we have Iran getting ready to attack, certainly they got uh, no money under Trump. And what cooperation could they be getting? If they feel that emboldened to be going after Israel, you have to wonder if they're feeling that, you know, Russia could be aiding them, even possibly China. The, the, the Iranian leaders have tried to, you know, also go as far as saying we will shut down the Strait of Hormuz. That's oil and global shipping. Weak presidency, weak Biden administration, all of us leads us to right here. Well, and that's right. And over 72 percent of voters think that Biden doesn't have the mental capacity to lead. Only 14 percent thinks he has the physical capacity and stamina to lead, which is why uh, this country and this globe are in uh, world chaos. But uh, to our, your point earlier, you know, you can't have national security without having border security. And we know that over 11 million illegals and over 2 million gotaways, which means we truly don't even know where they are, came from over 181 countries, uh, many of whom support and harbor terrorism. So uh, it's not a matter of if there will be another 9-11, but simply a matter of when. So frightening, too, because we know that Iran, uh, there was a report just yesterday that they could be getting closer to nuclear capability, which also, Tom, you know, ratchets this up to a whole other level here. Uh, and many people are looking, and even folks who may not have supported Trump in the past are saying we felt much safer here at home. And also the fact he could deal on a world stage and, and, and be more of a deterrent than what we have in this administration. Yeah, and when you take a look at the target selection that we that you you had up there, that that graphic uh, a short time ago, uh, they do focus a lot on those uh, potential nuclear facilities in uh, in Iran. And uh, and again, I think that it, this goes back to how much support will Russia and China provide Iran, either publicly or privately, to uh, to, to to strike back. Uh, on the uh, the consulate attack in in Syria, to what degree, uh, and then also, what are we as an as the United States and and the the Biden administration willing to do to stand by uh, Israel and and those uh, and and that counterattack? So far, the Biden administration has said that they will be supportive if Israel is attacked; that they will be supportive of a counterattack. Uh, but we again, I think that there are a lot of questions about. Uh, how this impacts us domestically and also what the administration is doing to secure the homeland uh, mm -hmm. as it does seem that the temperature is rising overseas. And of course, it'll come at the expense of all those Michigan voters that they've been trying to appease as well. A lot at stake here for our security as well. Uh, Lynn Patton, Tom Basile, thank you so much for joining me today. Great perspective from you both. I appreciate it.